Hello, my dear friend. I wonder if you can guess what I'm going to talk to you about today. <laughs> well, if you haven't guessed it yet, this is silk that I have painted on. And this is my very first silk painting. I wonder if you can guess which colors I purchased. <laughs> Again, <laughs> I purchased light blue, orange, forest green, azure blue, and petrol color. And I believe that I haven't mixed colors at all in this in this piece and i don't know if you can tell but over here where we have like these hard edges that wasn't done on purpose i was inexperienced and these lines have dried up before i got brave enough to go with the next color um, and this here is the effect achieved with salt and again I didn't have any experience so here I put you see this big blob here I put too much salt so if you look at it from how this is done it is it leaves so much room for improvement and that is exactly how you want to start something for me I was determined to learn how to paint on silk because it was so much fun. And I thought I have to conquer every single fear that I had about it and every single obstacle that came to my way. So a lot of people like this effect, even though, as I said, it wasn't done on purpose. This was created completely randomly. And this is my second piece. This is the same colors I had. And I now tried to do something different. And I think you can already feel that I had more confidence. Even though I still went across these lines, I was quite happy with the effect of this soft blending where the colors have merged together and I like how the salt has reacted with wet paint and caused this lovely effect. I like the flower. I am absolutely not worried that this isn't perfect because by now I got to appreciate um, that it looks much more artistic, much more fluid if it's actually not that perfect. And then we have a third piece. This is my third one. And yes, I remember in which order I painted them because uh, I thought this would be fun. Even I recreated these designs later, but I thought it would be fun to actually keep my first work. So I went for a different effect here and I didn't use any salt. Um, so I was now starting to experiment with adding water to my paint and blending the colors as I was working in this outside border. Um, so I was quite pleased with this effect and somehow I, I liked lilies and, um, and flowers as uh, early inspiration. You guessed it, this one is number four and I absolutely love the effect I did here. It wasn't planned. I probably used too much salt and got achieved these, um, these kind of very watercolory effect on the background, which I'm absolutely pleased about that. Um, and still I like these flowers with the uh, big leaves as a motif as well. As my confidence grew, and my experience in doing this, I got now much bolder with the themes that I did. And um, I, I like the dark 
colors against the very light background um, and I like the tonal effect of this scarf um, so they became very quickly popular because what I wanted to do when I first started painting on silk I wanted to paint them as gifts for my family and friends so I first painted for my mom and my aunts and my friends and then very quickly I ran out of people to give these to and my collection was getting bigger and bigger uh, to the point where everybody was saying you have to make an effort and start selling them and that's exactly what I did for, for a number of years. I just want to show you that there is no limit to your imagination really and this is something that this is a pattern that I invented and this is by using wax now so I started experimenting and a different silk this one I, I hope you can see the camera can catch it how sheer it is because this is a um, very uh, light and delicate georgette uh, fabric actually but it's like a georgette organza um, and uh, the color you see when it gathers it gets this deep deep purple but it has so much um, lovely pattern when you wear it and uh, every single time I put it on I get wonderful comments and I did one using the same technique for my mom but actually came out differently these uh, lines that you see here that I did with wax and these perhaps if I put it on the background here so the lines I did with wax and these ones are done with paint and water the the ones going across they came much smaller on my mom's scarf and um, <laughs> her pattern looks different although I applied exactly the same method and then this is one of my later works so as I said the only limit here is your imagination so I started developing different patterns playing with blending the colors because it is important when you're wearing something that you can coordinate with your outfit and this one is my very first batik work. Um, this scarf had to be completely covered with wax and then I would scrunch up the wax like that and apply this darkest uh, blue color. And of course the dots are also painted with wax so they're not perfectly round which I really like about this. I hope that you can see the marbly pattern of these cracks I'll make sure that you in video editing that you can get that effect so from humble start with this first one I showed you the orange one to these very elaborate ones so this was just the beginning of my silk painting journey because I have also painted paintings and framed them with the by using the same method like this I painted various landscapes and I will share them with you in another video but tune in tomorrow to see what other wonderful things I made by using silk thank you for tuning in and I will see you tomorrow